Why is a bicycle easier to balance at speed? Riding a bicycle is very easy, even easier than falling off one, despite what the old saying would have you believe. And of course, you never forget how to do it. But understanding the physics behind two-wheel transport is a bit more complicated, and knowing why you can ride a bike is actually harder than doing it. People have been fascinated by this for as long as there have been bicycles. Way back in 1897, the French Academy of Sciences offered a prize to whoever could best explain why a bicycle could perform this neat trick, staying upright while anything similarly two-dimensional would just fall over. The first theory, one that you'll hear banded around quite a lot, is that the bicycle's wheels act as gyroscopic stabilizers, helping it to stay upright. And this would appear to make sense, because only really committed cycling evangelists can keep a stationary bike upright, but once it's moving, the rest of us can do it no-handed. Gyroscopic force is, in very basic terms, the mass of a spinning object, making it want to continue rotating in the same plane until another force acts on it. If you can be bothered, take the front wheel off your bicycle, hold it by the two ends of the axle upright and set it spinning. Now try and turn it left or right. You'll find that the wheel fights you and in fact it tries to tilt the opposite way to the way you're turning it. This is called gyroscopic precession and it explains why the bike turns so quickly if you nudge the handlebars. Remember to do the wheel back up tightly when you put it back on, please. You can get more essential life-saving advice like this if you subscribe to Head Squeeze. All you have to do is click on the telly down there, free. Now, like so many things that sound right at the time, government budgets, for example, this isn't entirely true. Yes, there is a small amount of gyroscopic force generated by the wheels of a bicycle, but they're not big enough or spinning fast enough to explain why you don't simply fall off. This theory was effectively debunked, that's Latin for being thrown out of bed, in the 1970s, when somebody went to the trouble of building a bike with an extra set of wheels that rotated in the opposite direction from the road wheels. So these extra wheels should have cancelled out the gyroscopic effect of the original wheels, and yet the bike was still perfectly easy to ride. The next theory as to why a bicycle is so easy to ride is one of geometry, or caster, specifically the relationship between the bicycle's steering axis and the position where the front wheel contacts the ground. Here is a diagram. Because the steering axis is ahead of the tyre, when you lean the bicycle, the wheel will naturally turn in the direction you want to go, making it easier to ride. It also means, this caster thing, that the front wheel will automatically straighten up when you're going in a straight line, for exactly the same reasons the castering wheels on a shopping trolley do. And it's certainly true that bikes with more of this trail, as it's called, that's the distance between the steering angle and the front tyre's contact patch, are more stable. And yet, it is perfectly possible to ride a bike with no trail at all, or even a positive trail, where the situation is reversed and the steering angle is behind the tyre. So, in short, bickering scientists have done little more than prove to us, theoretically at least, that a bicycle is impossible to ride, just as they told us that a bumblebee theoretically can't fly, even though I saw one doing it yesterday. And yet, we all know that riding a bike is easy, and we can make a good case that the magic, in fact, comes from us, not the machine. Chimps can do this. Clowns can ride unicycles, and we know that a bike with a non-steerable front wheel is virtually unrideable. So why do we need to be moving in order to balance? Well, it's because the centrifugal force that you generate when you turn the bike helps to keep it stable. As you go into a turn, the centrifugal force generated by the mass of you and the bicycle works in the opposite direction, making it easier to balance than if you were on, say, a pogo stick. In fact, you can ride a bicycle because it's perfectly natural. But don't think about this while you are riding a bicycle, because then you'll stop believing it, and then you'll fall off. If you're a geek, and you're proud of it, it's time to stand up and be counted. YouTube's Geek Week, Sunday the 4th of August to Saturday the 10th of August. Geeks of the world, unite. I'm off.